Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your FPS and get better performance in Genshin Impact version 5.4 update dropped recently. I hope this guide helps you out. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Okay, step number one is the essential Windows settings and for that simply search for settings onto your PC and once you're here, go down to gaming. Head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off since it consumes a lot of CPU and RAM usage in the background since it runs an overlay right on the top of your game. After that, go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. It will help you to optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background, helping you to improve your gaming performance. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings. Simply click on that and then click on change default graphic settings to enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games as both of them will help you to reduce your input latency and utilize your graphic card to render the game once that is done go back to graphics and now click on the browse button over here to add genshin impact in this list once you're in the installation folder scroll a bit down until you find dhyp.exe click on add once that is added head over to options and then select high performance right over here Click on the browse button once again and then you have to open up Genshin Impact game and in here you'll find Genshin Impact.exe. Click on the add button once again and if that is already added, scroll down and then head over to options. Select high performance right over here and click on save and once that is done, simply close your settings. Next step is the config settings and for that head over to the install location of your game. Once you're in the folder, head down to Genshin Impact game and you'll find something called Genshin Impact.exe. Right click on it and head over to its properties, head over to compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimization. Right over here, click on change high DPI settings and then enable override high DPI scaling behavior. Click on OK, click on OK and that should be it. Before we move ahead, I want to introduce you guys to LD Shop. The platform offers you in-game currencies to materials at discount. LD Shop is an official distributor with a 4.9 rating and over 500 reviews on Trustpilot. They have wide varieties of games from PC to mobile. Simply select any game you want and then you have to select the package that you're looking for. And now you have to enter your server and your game ID. Once added, you wanna have to select the quantity and then click on the top of button. They have a wide variety of payment methods so you guys can complete your payment method right over here. And once your payment is done, your purchase will be delivered to your account within 24 hours. And if you find any kind of issues right over here, they also have a 24 hour support system that can assist you better. They have huge offers going on every now and then so you guys can go check out LD shop from the link in the description below. Next step is disabling back background applications on your PC and for that you need to open up local group policy editor and this will only be available on Windows Pro Edition. Once you're here, click on computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, app privacy and in here you'll find let Windows apps run in the background. Simply double click to open this policy up and make sure that it is enforced or set to enabled. Then for the default for all applications, set this thing to force deny and then click on apply. This will ensure that applications running in the background are completely turned off and once that is done, simply close it. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search or create a restore point on your PC and once you're over here scroll a bit down until you find a local disk C click on create and name it Genshin Impact just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys have to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the Genshin Impact V5.4 FPS pack I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can alternatively join my discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial and pack as well. Right over here you'll find in five simple folders let's start with the first one that is cpu priority in which i have left amd cpu priority as well as intel cpu priority both of them will help you to optimize your processor to improve performance by setting up the correct dword values to optimize the maximum resources if you have an amd cpu you can double click in on the amd cpu priority and if you have an intel cpu you can double click in on the intel cpu priority second one is ram optimization in which i have left a ton of registries right over here once again you guys can pick your ram according to your PC. I have 32 GB RAM installed on my PC so I need to double click and run the 32 GB RAM registry. Could be different for you so pick among the presets and if that doesn't work out well or you want to reset it back again, use the reset to default registry right over here. Third one is the Genshin Impact Priority in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority right over here. I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Fourth one is the batch and programs folder in which I have left three batch files and two programs. Let's start with the first one that 
that is cache cleaner simply right click on this as administrator this will clean all kind of cache on your pc which will ultimately help you to improve a little bit of performance on your pc next one is disable memory compression and if you edit in notepad you guys can see that it runs a powershell command which helps you to disable memory compression right off your pc this will help you to save a lot of your cpu's performance and resources third one is disable usb power saving and this is also very beneficial because it will help you to get rid of all kind of input delay the next one is the programs in which i have left msi mode utility 3.0 simply right click on this as administrator once it opens up you have to find your graphic card in this list and then select the msi button next to it the interrupt priority go with high and then click on apply and close it this will ensure that your graphic card can handle correct amount of interrupts to improve the performance of it next one is unpack cpu simply right click on this as administrator again and right over here you'll find enable cores and parked cores enable cores should be the maximum amount of cores that your pc supports if that is not the case and if you guys can see any kind of parked cores right over here i would recommend you guys to slide this core parking index all the way up to 100 to disable core parking on your pc once all of that is done head down to the next folder which is unwanted services and this is a completely optional folder you guys can disable every single one of these registry right over here by simply double clicking that it will help you to disable all unwanted services right off your pc once again if you use any bluetooth devices or printer services leave these two intact disable every single one of them right over here they will help you to get rid of these services running in the background and help you to improve your pc's performance once again if you want to revert any of these registries back again head over to the revert registries folder and simply apply all of these back again Again to set them back on next step is disabling unwanted services on your pc and for that simply type in ms config in this search bar and then open up system configuration once you're here head over to boot and then click on advanced options click on number of processor and choose the maximum number of processors available for your pc right over here click on ok and then click on apply head over to the services tab and then select hide all microsoft services and start disabling all kind of adobe update services apple mobile device care services rgb services fan control services browser update services printer services server running services any of the services that you find that are completely useless and you don't use them once you're done with that click on apply and then click on ok and then select exit without restart next step is a de-animating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows on your pc and simply open it up in the performance option you have to select custom and then click on save taskbar thumbnail previews show thumbnails instead of icons show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts these four settings will help you to keep the basic look of your windows intact while disabling all kind of unnecessary animations of your pc this will not help you to gain a lot of performance boost but will help you to improve the basic look of your windows and make it a little bit more smoother the next step is right in the advanced tab that is the virtual memory click on the change button and then deselect automatically manage paging file size for all drives then select your local disk c and for the initial size set this thing to 1361 then head over to open up your calculator on your pc and once you're over here you have to multiply your ram that is 32 gb for me with 1024 this will give you your ram in megabytes simply divide this value by 2 and the new value that you get right over here should be pasted in the maximum size once you're done with that click on set click on ok and this is how you optimally set your virtual memory i would recommend you guys to restart your pc once and then drop into the game to benchmark if you're getting the best fps available once again if you guys are not seeing the performance you are looking for or it has become worsened i would recommend you guys to click on the change button right over here and then click on automatically manage paging file size click on ok and then click on ok right over here and restart your pc once again next step is dropping into the best in game settings and for that you need to open up your game okay for the best in game settings press your escape key and then go down to settings right over here head down to graphic settings and then make sure that your graphic quality is custom display mode should always be full screen and brightness is a personal preference fps ready to 60 and vsync should be turned off render resolution go with 0.8 or 0.9 both of them works absolutely fine if you have a super low end pc for your computer with a decent graphic card go with 1.0 as that would be fine shadow quality go with low global illumination off visual effects low sfx quality low environment detail medium anti-aliasing go with fsr2 volumetric fog off reflections off motion blur off bloom off crowd density for super low end pcs go with low co-op teammate effects on subsurface scattering medium or off doesn't really matter a lot anisotropic filtering go with the lower values 1x or 2x would be fine and dynamic character resolution go with on if this gives you any kind of fps issues try turning this thing off as 
as well. Once it is done, simply close your settings and now you guys can enjoy the game with the best FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button since it really helps me out. Click the subscribe button below and we'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Tweakers and peace out.